For more than a decade, she's been known as one of Hollywood's top actresses. Now, Angelina Jolie is becoming known for something else. She says she's had a double mastectomy as a precaution because she has a high risk for breast cancer. It is the most common cancer among Canadian women, accounting for about a quarter of new cases. It's estimated about 23,000 people in this country were diagnosed with breast cancer last year. A preventative double mastectomy may sound like a radical move, but it is an option women are turning to increasingly. Health reporter Kelly Crow looks at this for us tonight. Kelly. Nancy, a small percentage of women carry specific genetic mutations that dramatically increase their risk of developing breast cancer. But it took an admission by a Hollywood celebrity to get everybody talking about those genetic mutations and about preventative mastectomies. Show us the leg, Angie, show us the leg. Angelina Jolie chose to make her dramatic announcement not in front of the cameras, but in newsprint, in a New York Times column titled, My Medical Choice. The truth is, I carry a faulty gene, BRCA1, she wrote, which sharply increases my risk of developing breast cancer and ovarian cancer. As a precaution, she decided to have both breasts removed, a decision that was not easy, she wrote, but it is one that I am very happy that I made. Jolie is part of a small percentage of women who carry a mutation in the BRCA gene. Normally, that gene suppresses tumors, but mutations can lead to uncontrolled cell growth and cancer. Most women who have the mutation don't know it. But a family history of breast and ovarian cancer is a red flag. Jolie's mother died at 56 of ovarian cancer. Teresa Quick's mother developed breast cancer at 34 and died at 52 of ovarian cancer. When a genetic test revealed Teresa also carried the mutation, she decided to take control of the risk and she made the same decision as Angelina Jolie. And I'm thrilled that someone as sexy and beautiful as Angelina Jolie is really promoting that message. There's scars, there's discomfort, there's pain, um, but you do make it out. Um, and I haven't regretted my decision. Breast cancer researcher Dr. Stephen Nayrod says with news about the BRCA gene flashing across TV screens today, more women might get the test and have a chance at prevention. And for women without cancer, the most important thing is count the number of female relatives with breast cancer under 50 or of ovarian cancer, and if the number is two or more, you would be at high risk of carrying the gene. The risk is greater in families of European Jewish ancestry and some other ethnic groups. Jolie's decision to have her breasts removed is not the only option. Some women decide to undergo close screening for early detection. There's also a form of drug therapy being tested. When a celebrity as famous as Angelina Jolie makes such a personal confession, it's guaranteed to make news. But the fact is, most cases of breast cancer are not caused by the BRCA mutation, which means most women don't have the option of taking this kind of preventative measure. Nancy? So, Kelly, what access do women in this country have to that test? The genetic tests are covered for women who already have cancer or who have a family history of breast or ovarian cancer. As well, the preventative mastectomies and the reconstructive surgery are also covered by provincial health care plans. Thanks very much, Kelly. So, how does the BRCA gene increase a woman's risk of developing cancer? The average woman's lifetime risk of developing breast cancer is 12%. Women with the breast cancer susceptibility gene have a risk about five times higher. It's thought to be linked to between 5 and 10% of all cases of breast cancer in the United States. Jolie mentioned her risk of ovarian cancer was also increased. Women with the faulty gene have between a 15 and 40% risk compared to 1.4% for the general population.